Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was ready to puke from all the border. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Come on, come closer. Cross his dark white one. Help him. On a cold distant shore. Across the wide somewhere sea. Then I left myself a trophy from my heart and mind. Had enough? Ah, ah, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Geralt, I'd have nothing against you drinking yourself stupid if we had nothing important planned. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Tabran! To your madman Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. Well, what is it? Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Ancrete seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple. That was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of crack and his brood yet. Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? Yeah! That's what. Farewell, Lucas. What you had messed with me? You twisted me or. 
Feast the turtle and legendary. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mimi don't agree. Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, for a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. What? 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 I couldn't help overhearing. Fate was unkind to your menfolk. Widow's Isles. That's what Skellige is. To you Continentals. War started a half year back. We've been fighting Nilfgaard for years now. And we're not like to ever stop. Your husbands died glorious deaths. Oh, I. Gotten captained a longship, near three dozen men aboard. Raided half a dozen Nilfgaardian villages. Filled his hull with captives. On the return, they came across a black fleet. Three galleons. But our men did not flee. Instead, they drew close and boarded. Gotten chopped off an Imperial captain's head. Then they backed him against the rails. He died with a war cry on his lips. My Hogta was a scout. Snuck into the enemy's camp. Hounds sniffed him out. When the Black One surrounded him, he slit his own throat, refused to let them question him. Grach sure to see that you're cared for. Women don't need men to care for. The sorceress speaks true. We take care of ourselves. War and death are twin sisters. We've long known both. No one mourns here. Tears we replace with vengeance. The women of Skellige are fertile, and we birth no cowards. Farewell. May your sons make port as many times as they sail out. As the gods will it, so shall it be. I must say, I like the women of Skellige. It's as if each one would make a good sorceress. Can't think of a single sorceress from Skellige, let alone a famous one. Litanade, known also as Coral. Don't you remember? Step aside! Greetings, Carol. With Bran gone, by my count, that makes you the eldest of the Jarls. Aye, it does. But I trust it'll not be for long. Ah, not like any of the others stand out, age you? Nay, but I'll gladly pass the honor to the next in line. I've lived my fell, steeped my hand in the blood of foes, felt the warmth of the southern sun and the bite of the northern winds touch of women of the East and West. Now, I wish to die a death worthy of song. What's new on Hindersfjall? New! Lofoten lies in ruins. The garden has been devastated. And now we must deal with an Ulfoden. In short, everything's grand. Farewell. Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? 
To retrieve an item, the Mask of Erberos. We'll need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. Wait, Starleys. Chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble. And cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill. And doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales crooned. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. <gasps> Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Looks alive. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door's locked. The animals. They're alive. Yen, watch out! Monsters. They're everywhere. That's one lens.
What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we, uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A Wondrous female. world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography enhanced. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Dwarven triple mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. A letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you, that brazen manipulator. <laughs> the shameless schemer. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Geralt, come here! I found Mask! This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. <laughs>
What now, you piece of film? It's a trap! Yes? The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We will take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. Could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man a woman. Win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. 
She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ard Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Right unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here and Ardskeled. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krag. I will see you later. <laughs>